Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamek. This is Let's Play Persona 5 Strikers. In the last episode... You have accomplished your goal with magnificent aplomb. We did that. Despite all manner of hardships, your bonds and your fortitude staved off the oppressive darkness, shining brightly for all humanity. We also used a bunch of teddy bears to blow up a god. You have again broken free from the shackles of fate and grasped your future for yourself. I seem to do that a lot, if we're honest. Like, I think if you count Persona 5 Royale as the canon version of events, this is the fourth time. As a result, the god sought by many has returned to the void. Some may be lost without it, with nary a hope to cling on to, be that as it may. I believe the blazing will that you fostered throughout your journey has been embedded deep within the hearts of mankind, and will surely blossom into hope for them when they most need it, allowing them to face their own challenges with strength and grace. Thank you, Trickster. Allow me to praise you in my master's stead. You were truly a remarkable guest. May our paths cross yet again one day. Until then, sweet dreams. Kind of weird. You'd think that she wouldn't want us to meet again? I mean, we're friends, yes. We got to the max social link with her in Persona 5, but... <coughs> The thing is that we only ever run in okay, we only ever go to the velvet room when something awful is about to happen or currently happening. Anyway, uh, continue. This crazy summer's given us a whole lot of grief, but our mission was a success and we made a bunch of great memories together. So, let's get this celebration going. Woo! Applause! Applause! <sighs> What's wrong, Ryuji? You don't appear to be your usual self. Man, I could not fall asleep last night. Ugh, my bed at home just wasn't doing it for me. Too used to roughing it. Now it's so soft that you can't sleep in it. Isn't that just typical of long and involved road trips? I gotcha. Our bodies are all specced for the Feathermobile at this point. I find myself missing the Feathermobile too. Futaba, please make up your mind what you want to call the RV. Why'd you change the name when we don't even got it anymore? Isn't it called the Phantomobile? That was true. At least for a little while. Anyway, it looks like nobody besides us thieves remembers what happened at the Tokyo Radio Tower, just like last time. Ugh, that sucks. Considering it was our asses on the line and all. Patrolling society from the shadows, slaying evil in secret? I admit it sounds rather alluring. Well, yeah, but don't you want some kind of recognition every once in a while, too? You know, like fangirls and that kind of stuff? OMG, it's Ryuji! <laughs> I get enough of that already. Well, I hear you there. So many great options, and no save point for me to use to get back to it. Oh. I get enough of that already. Hey, screw you! You're Mr. Superstar over here! The girls in your hometown probably go crazy for you, don't they? <laughs> oh, Ryuji is salty! Still, we made all sorts of unforgettable memories. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Same here. It was a new experience at every turn. It was the best. Mm-hmm. And we can rest easy knowing we did everything we could to help. Any loose strings left are in the middle of being wrapped up. Oh, man. Gramps would have really helped to turn this party up, huh? I bet he'd say he's too busy trying to bring in Awada to attend a celebration just yet. So we're all partying while Zenkichi's still busting his buns on the case? 
Now I'm feeling a bit guilty. That's adulthood, sadly. Maybe because you remembered school starting back up soon? And doesn't that go for all of you? Darn it. The true final boss made us forget to study on the last day. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. When are you heading home? Tomorrow. Huh? Really? Time sure did fly by. We'll be back. Well done, man. And make it soon, okay? Sophia, will you be joining them? You got it. And what if she ends up sniffing out of jail in his hometown, huh? <sighs> like that would ever happen. Now that you mention it, I wonder why Sophia was in the Shibuya jail anyway, of all places. Probably what he she knows I said right before she left to back in in the previous episode, she said that she buried all her things in Shibuya, so I guess that includes Sophia's base code. Good point. Well, Ichinose did mention that she used to live in Shibuya. Perhaps Sophia was originally located within her house. So, when Emma picked up on Sophia's existence from the Metaverse side, that cognition... Ah, this is all speculation. And even if that's how any of it worked, did it have to be some sort of miracle. We opened a Pandora's box and got a hope social link out of it. What are the odds? Since we're on the topic, Sophia, you seemed a bit distracted after we defeated the Demiurge. Did something happen? Oh, that. I heard Emma's voice. Huh? You mean, the one only you can hear? Yes. I was issued a final request. Please follow your heart to save humanity. Emma asked you that? She did want to save humanity, it's just that... Uh, pardon my squeaky chair. It's just that she... her views on how to do it... They ultimately differed from ours, and we were a lot stronger than her. Had we been able to reach a mutual agreement, perhaps Emma could have followed Sophia's path rather than base destruction. I believe this is proof of the true power that the Phantom Thieves hold. Artificial intelligence is not the enemy of mankind. We were born to help people. As opposed to most other media that make us the enemy of mankind anyway, with absolutely no planning or reason to how we write it. But just like people, we are capable of errors in judgment, and can stray from the right path. It's a learning network after all. You have to make mistakes to learn the right way to do things. Our users, their input, our experience, these all mold us to take a wide variety of beliefs. If only Emma had learned and grown with a good companion. Then why don't you give yourself the directive to show others how it's done? What? Since you're such a good companion to humanity, you can be a positive role model for how AI and humans can work together. Oh, I couldn't even count how many people that'd end up helping in the end. We'll have you back. You can do it, Thank Sophia. You, everyone. Oh, but I can't leave this smartphone. That's a shame. Being a role model and helping countless people will have to wait. I'm sure we'll be able to plug you into somewhere more important eventually. Once you feel you're ready for it. <laughs> Not so fast, Sophia. I've cooked up an ultra epic... God, shut up, shut up, shut up! This is getting too close to being a downer. This is a celebration, right? Celebrate! Come on, uh, Yusuke, you, me, soda chugging contest, now! What? Um, I don't know if we're ready for that. Such idiocy. To think you could consume more than I. <laughs> of course Yusuke is all about it. These guys had a sh these knuckleheads had a showtime together in Royale. Hey, you better not spill any of that. <laughs> you idiots! Oh, you got soda all over my fur! Uh... Not exactly the celebration I'd planned. 
I mean, sometimes just being with your friends can be enough, right? Jeez, thanks for ruining the celebration for me, Ryuji. But it was fun. Everyone seemed to be having a good time. Yeah, I guess I had fun too. So, will the Phantom Thieves be disbanding tomorrow? Probably not forever, but just for the meantime. Uh, we don't have a choice with school and everything starting back up. Ryuji and Lady An already have their plates full with homework as it is. I mean, I'd be kind of worried, but I think they'll do alright. <laughs> Me too. And Yusuke? I'm sure he's ready to get back to his artwork. Makoto and Haru are heading back to college. I wonder what life is like there. Uh, neither of these options is what I'd say, so I'll put think positive. They didn't seem too bummed on their deal. Sure, they complain from time to time, but it sounds like they're having fun overall. And Futaba seems to have gotten a lot stronger too, huh? Considering how she seems now, she's not going to have any trouble at school making new friends. Everyone has found their own path. What's up? Well... I was wondering what my path is. You'll find it soon enough, Sophia. Until then, feel free to stick with this guy and me. Uh, it's tempting. You might as well call yourself this guy for how pe often people avoid saying your name when it's quite there in the text boxes. Not that I expect them to write in software pronunci soft pronunciation software so they can match up with everyone, but... Mm. Uh, don't trouble yourself over it. Thanks, you two. We're really heading out tomorrow. I still wish we had more time, but we ought to get some rest. Well, be careful on your way back. See ya! It was a real blast. Drop us a line whenever you're back. No matter what you're doing, we'll drop it to meet you. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Are you gonna be back for winter break? You know you could come back sooner, right? The attic's all yours whenever you like. It'll only cost you a few hours behind the counter. You take care too, Morgana. Lady On. Well, it pains me to leave you, I must keep watch over him. See you later, Mona-chan! Listen to your owner, okay? No! He listens to me! And I'm not a pet! <laughs> Keep an eye on these two for us, okay, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Oh, <gasps> I almost forgot! What's the matter? I have a present for Sophia. A present? Indeed. I didn't get a chance to give it to you yesterday. Oh, one moment, Futaba. There's a message from Ichinose. Sorry this is so sudden, but... Could you meet me in front of Shibuya Station? Bring everyone else too if you can. I promise not to take too much of your time. Well, hope to see you there. What did Ichinose-san have to say? Sure didn't expect that. Let's meet her. I'm curious. I admit, I'm curious as well. Are any of you too busy to join us? Not at all. In fact, this seems right. Yes, one last little farewell trip together. I'm not sure whether what I'm predicting is going to happen or not. But I also want to know, what is it that Futaba is planning to give us? Here, right? Yeah, but I don't see her. Maybe we just meet her here. What do you say we wait for a bit? So hot, melting, I'm evaporating in five seconds. 
Perhaps we could find a spot to stay in a weight that isn't directly in the sun. Huh? Wait! Look at that! We now bring you breaking news. A shocking turn of events in the political realm. Moments ago, an arrest warrant was issued for legislator June Owada. Oh, it's good to know that you know, good old Sinkichi's gonna get his closure on this asshole. The charges against Mr. Owada span from bribery and tax evasion to... That's... A fleet of police vehicles have encircled the Diet Member's office building, which is reportedly being searched at this time. We now take you to the investigation team's press conference, live at their headquarters. We have uncovered evidence that shows Mr. Awada illegally accepted funds from the company Medis. Additional investigations into his numerous other charges are currently underway. Regarding the specific hit-and-run incident two years ago, wherein Mr. Owada's secretary claimed to be the culprit, we have learned the true culprit was Mr. Owada himself, driving his own vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. Don't drunk drive. Pretty basic stuff. The concealment of this fact involved multiple high-ranking members of the police force, all arrested for conspiracy to conceal evidence. I cannot apologize deeply enough for the flagrant, abysmal disregard for truth and justice from this department. We intend to follow our investigations to the absolute end, not only for justice's sake, but for that of the people and their faith in the police. At least Kaburagi's getting what she wanted as well. She did a pretty good job of tricking me into thinking that she'd fold pretty easily to Awada, but nope. She, she grabbed them by the jugular. Whoa, is, is this real? Wait, that Owada? And the police were in on it? Isn't this like a huge deal? Furthermore, there are claims that Mr. Owada's criminal activity extends well beyond that with Medis, including suspicions that he ordered the murder of his secretary two years ago, as well as... Isn't that... Senkichi-san did it! He finally got the person he's been after for so long! Score one for Zenkichi. Yeah! Gramps pulled it off! That dude really is badass! The perpetrator's finally caught under the light of truth. A job well done. Looks like he wasn't just trolling us about his skills. No wonder he made such a good part of our team. <sighs> he's finally avenged his wife. Yep. Just like you promised Akane. Not only was the killer caught, he was the one who collared him. I'm so happy for Zenkichi-san. Hey, been waiting long? Oh, we kept busy with the television. Ichinose-san! Wrapping up the paperwork at the police station took a lot longer than I'd expected. Police station? I actually went straight there and turned myself in the moment we finished our conversation. Hang on, but what you did was... Kanoe was the one who abused Emma's power. If you turned yourself in over all that... Setting Emma loose upon the world like I did would have led to its destruction if not for you all. I know that's true. Not only that, there's no denying I directly hurt you all as well. I thought I should be punished for that. At the very least. Ichinose! So, I confessed everything to the police. <laughs> Big surprise. They didn't believe anything I said. Well, it's not exactly the easiest story to buy. I even tried to get Hasegawa-san to help with my confession. <laughs> he just laughed it off. The police are too busy for fairy tales right now. That sure sounds like Senkichi. <sighs> anyway. I originally planned to do this once I was released from jail, but I'm thinking of taking a journey of my own. A journey, you say? Yes, a sort of quest to learn about the human heart. <sighs> I thought Emma really would guide humanity to a better world. 
And then I thought Emma would guide humanity to a better world. People can make mistakes. But once Sophia changed my mind, that was when I noticed something. The eyes of everyone saved by Emma. They just looked cold and dead. Like you all. Sophia included. Your eyes were so brimming with hope that it opened my own. Sophia learned about the human heart by joining you on your journey. You shared good times and bad. You were there for each other when you needed it. And you learned to understand each other. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that kind of thing. But I want to speak with other people about the heart when learning this time. Try and really do it right. I just needed to make sure I apologize to Sophia and you all properly before I depart. I truly am so, so sorry for putting you all through so much pain. Yeah, it's all in a day's work, really. It's in the past. He's right. It's all been taken care of, and we're not sore over it. Thank you. Hey, I have a request of my own. You're gonna ask me to hand you over to Ishinose so you can travel together? Really? What is it? I... Well, I want to join Ichinose. Huh? You mean go with her on her journey? You've all done so much for me. You accepted me when I had nowhere to go. You said I was your teammate and friend. You gave me a home. It made me so happy. I constantly felt warm and fuzzy inside. However, everyone now has their own path to the future. Thanks to you all, I've learned so much. I've even found my path to follow. The path I need to take as humanity's companion. I want to be able to lend a helping hand to anyone who strays from their own path. Just like you all do. I want to help people find their way so they can find their happiness. If Ichinose is trying to find her way, then I should be there for her, just like you were for me. I want to become more like you, so I can be the self that I want to be. Sophia. Does that mean we're saying goodbye to you too now, Sophia? But I thought she was stuck in there. Mm -mm. That's not an issue. Sophia, do you remember the first night we met, that full scan of you, in LeBlanc's attic? Well, I've only been able to hammer away at it little by little, but since that day, I've been working on a program to... to get you out of there. Oh, <gasps> dude! For real? I, I tried telling you guys a whole bunch of times, but... But real life kept interrupting. I didn't think it'd wind up being a goodbye gift. Taba. I mean, you already knew that I was going away with Sophia. And now she... Ichinose is going away with Sophia, so the same difference. Sophia's going away. And I'm pretty sure she can learn how to use a text program to let us all know how she's doing. Sophia's decided what she wants to do. She's found her path in life. So we should congratulate her and send her off with a smile. Right, Futaba? Yeah, you're right. Are you sure this is what you want, Sophia? They're really, really going to miss you. Yes, it's what I want. But first, I need to hear it from you. May I go with Ichinose? <laughs> I understand, of course, you got it. Of course. Even though this is one of those but thou must situations. Thanks. Sorry, everyone. I haven't been able to show my appreciation for what you've done for me. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? You know that's not how friends roll. Yeah, friends and members of the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. You'll always be a part of us. Nothing could sever the bond we forged over such high stakes. And we'll never forget the great times we had together. I know you'll be a fantastic companion to Ichinose-san. Sophia, stay safe out there. Thank you for everything. Thank you! 
fantastic voice acting there. Have fun with the one summer vacation. Let's keep at it, Sophia. Yeah. You know you Stay can call cool, anytime. Sophia. You'll always be a friend to us. Yeah. Thank you all. I promise. I won't forget you or our time together. Huh. We'll meet again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No matter what! <laughs> okay, no matter what. Goodbye. Email from Sophia. Subject treasure. And that is Persona 5 Strikers. I've got to say that it's kind of all over the place in how I feel about the game because on one hand it's probably the most clunky of the Warriors games that I've ever played and I have played quite a few of them. There's just something about how the combat works out like lack of a block button is how all the enemies just seem a bit you know, too aggressive and in their attacks and interrupting yours. The knockdowns are frustrating and uh, they aren't that many. You need either Haru or you need Joker with a person the right persona in order to cure the dizzy, but story-wise, it's also a bit of a mixed bag because I feel like it does things right. That it were signing slightly off in the original Persona 5. Like the uh, we have a lot more of a oh boy, where am I going with this thought? Like the fact that the Monarchs do have their tragic backstories, you had small hints of it in Persona 5, but here it's a lot more blatant. You can be sympathetic with these people after you've beaten them senseless and gotten them to accept their that yes, I don't I shouldn't use this power. I'll try to be a better person now so I can do the right things rather than focusing on my traumas. That is good stuff. And then there's the fact that well, we've got the final boss with Ark of the Covenant. I feel like this is a better final boss than we got in the, the uh, Persona 5 because in Persona 5, the boss sort of comes out of nowhere. Like, it it says, Humanity's desires for something to grant their ultimate desire has created me, Yaldabaoth. The Holy Grail that grants your desires will now take away your need to think for yourself. That comes out of nowhere, and it sounds so similar to what we have with Emma, but Emma doesn't just come out of nowhere, Emma was created to be this way. And that is actually stuff, it's like they take and took a lot of notes from Persona 3 as well. And yet, it does it's not just coincidence that we have something taking control after we think we've already won. That is good things. And I also really like Ichinose's backstory. She's maybe not the best villain because she spends the whole time in the backseat just spying on everyone and then all she does is go over and flip the on switch for Emma. That's her contribution to the plot and we barely get any time with her as the villain but has a reason for Emma is it total dominance and the whole I could really relate to her traumatic backstory uh, as someone with autism and Asperger's syndrome and uh, all the stuff that I read and remember about it. I guess if the it's a mixed bag, but I feel like it's them taking the Persona 5 experience and refining it. They saw what was working and what didn't in the original Persona 5 story. They created this sort of rehash where they did it pretty well, and then where they tidied it up. Now if only they hadn't put in the hot spring scene. But hey, nothing's perfect. 
I guess there's also the slight question of. Oh. You should be out any second. There! separate ways once more it's a little sad I'm saying goodbye I mean. come on it's never goodbye forever we'll be back in a flash sure will yeah The one thing that felt off was that there were quite a few high-level personas right at the end that you wouldn't have gotten in normal playthrough. <laughs> By loading the same file, you'll be able to continue the game just before Demiurge battle. Would you like to save your clear data? Sure. I think I'd have preferred a New Game Plus though. But yeah, it did feel a bit off that we have Alice and Yoshitsune at much higher levels than... I went out of my way to reach Alice's level, like I picked a fight with Mara in order to get that extra distance. And they have personas even higher level than that. It feels like the was just a bit missing at the end. But that said, still a great game. And now that I have gotten back to the title screen, there's even there's one more thing that I'd like to say. Persona games have a special place to me. It was Persona 4 Golden that got me into Let's Play in the first place. Like, well, okay, I tell a lie. It was Persona 4 Golden that made me find out about Let's Play. I saw, I can see, I had my Vita and I was always looking for new games to put on it. I had the Valkyra Chronicles games on it, or at least Valkyra Chronicles 2. But I didn't have much beyond that. I also heard Danganronpa and... I actually don't know what order I found things in, but the important thing was, I kept seeing Persona 4 Golden on my on the shelf. I kept picking it up, thinking, hmm, this looks interesting, but then I'd notice the tags on the front and I think, oh, this is some sort of police, doujin, visual novel game, I don't want to play something dirty like that. But I kept grabbing my attention and eventually I said, I need to figure out what this game is like. So I can either go, this is not what I want, and just sign it off completely. So I went to Google, I or rather I went to YouTube, and I typed in Persona 4 Golden. I wanted to find a video of the sort of gameplay it is, and I found a video by Super Genius. And I watched that, and I actually said, wow, this is a game I want to play. I went and bought it, and then I played alongside Super Genius. Basically, I copied his notes for how to get a 100% playthrough on the first, on a single go, but I made one slight difference in that I put... Where he went into final ranks with Chie, I went with Yukiko because I wanted to romance Yukiko, and only Yukiko. But I just... That was basically where I got... I learned about Let's Playing. I've watched so many Let's Players now. And I let's play my own stuff. I am proud of what I do. Even if it's mediocre, I am proud of what I do. And now it's come full circle because I have made a let's play of a Persona game. And hopefully there's going to be even more let's plays coming where that came from. So, until next time guys. Take care. I'll see you all around.
I only ever had one game over, and that was in the redo of that big Joker distraction at the start of the game. How do you do that? Man, they actually gave away that Zenkichi's gonna join it in this intro. I did not think about that. 